Well, I've only just recovered from Kiss Cam. And here we go into our next bout. Premier Boxing League 11. And we've got a battle of the light heavyweights. We have Wayne Brown in the red corner and Mike Lennon in the blue corner. We've seen it all tonight, haven't we? Kiss Cam, Flex Cam, everything. Yeah, a bit of everything. Just uh, glad they didn't get me and you on Kiss Cam. Oh, I was gutted. Right, here we go then. So Wayne Brown is a seasoned fighter with a definitely got a heart of a true warrior. He's known for his toughness and determination. And then on the other side, you've got Mike Lennon, who's an ex-RAF boxer. So he's definitely got a bit of experience. Oh, that was a good corkscrew uppercut, that. Really good corkscrew uppercut from Mike Lennon. So Mike Lennon wearing the blue shorts. And uh, we've got Wayne Brown with the black and gold. Yeah, a bit of a cagey start. Both men sort of working each other out a little bit. Oh, what a right hand. Just quite quite measured. You know what? He's got that corkscrew uppercut, though. He definitely knows a bit, this, this Lennon. Obviously, he's, he's an RAF boxer in, in the past. Look, he's got the Mayweather style of defence. 
Yeah, Wayne needs to be careful coming in. He can't just come forward in a straight line because you're quite right. Mike Lennon's throwing that nice right uppercut and he's looking to counter himself. I mean, he's counter right hand. He's got all the moves. He's he's definitely got skill. Yeah, and Wayne just needs to be a bit more careful coming in. Maybe maybe faint his shots. Don't be so predictable because I fear that he's going to walk onto something. And there you go. Good job there for Mike as well. Oh, you know what? It's going to be a good fight because they're landing some good shots here. And you know what? I think Wayne's decided that he needs to get in a bit closer, inch his feet in a bit closer just to get out of the, the slick boxing. Uh, I, I think that's what he's got to do. As, as dangerous as it is, I think he's got to get in close and try and make a fight of it because when Mike keeps it long, he's just picking him off and countering him. It's a good body shot there from, from Wayne Brown. Um, he's very, he's very good. Um, but you see, look, Wayne, um, sorry, getting people mixed up here. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was a good body shot thrown from Mike Lennon, but Wayne Brown is a tough guy. You can tell that's another good body shot there. Really good body shots he, going he's in. He's being hurt to the body oh, here. Oh, really good body shots. He's a tough, tough man. He's being hurt and he's staying on his feet. Wayne's took, that was a good check left hook from Wayne. That was a good check left hook. And he's, he's tough as nails, isn't he? Got all the respect for him, tough as old boots. But, yeah, I think, I think he just needs to go forward, try and put Mike on the back foot. But it looks like a very uphill task at the minute. Yeah, he's got extensive experience as Wayne. Relentless fighting spirit, and that's really coming through here. Yeah, good I mean, skills, good stamina. But, you know, he's in there with someone who's very slick. Yeah, he's, have, he's having pockets of success. But Mike just looks very, very strong. He looks very accomplished. He's got a really good array of shots. And... He's countering him at will, so yeah, I think Wayne just needs to come forward, spoil the fight a bit, and it, look, he's having his own success, so just keep working away and, and hoping that Mike maybe fade, fades in the fight a little bit. Yeah, and I want to stress, if, any, if anyone wants to call the, 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 the PBL white collar um, level, forget about it. Come and watch fights like this. Great technique on display. Really good, well matched. Great atmosphere. To get yourself down to the hideout for the next show on the 6th of December, it's going to be an absolute banger. I've heard it's going to be a massive, massive show. The whole place is getting a bit of a refurb. The whole scene is going to be blacked out, and it's going to look absolutely fantastic in here. Yeah, well, one thing we've not mentioned tonight is the production side of things. Yep. Good competitive fights, good coaching, good standard. Everything's ta taken care of, but also the production side of it. If you look around here tonight, everyone's having a great time. We've got a great DJ on, and it's a really, really nice atmosphere in there. Yeah, really nice atmosphere, no trouble, nothing, nothing no. aggy. Um, you know, you've got nice, you know, you've got kids in here as well, like, you know, it's a safe environment. I'd bring my kids here, and, it, you know, I wouldn't take my kids to most boxing. I wouldn't take them to a pro show. No. Absolutely not. I totally agree with that. But I'd bring them here, you know, lovely people, good crowd in, and uh, we're seeing a good fight here in the light heavyweight division. Wayne Brown in the red corner, and Mike Lennon in the blue corner. Of course, Mike has got that experience from the RAF, and I'd like to ask him about that a bit later on, whatever happens in the fight, because he's got a good, clean boxing style. Look, round two, and I think Wayne needs to get in the front foot. He needs to, he needs to go for it a little bit in this round. He can't stand off Mike, because Mike's going to pick him apart, and, 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 I, and I think he's going to walk onto something. So Wayne needs to get forward, spoil it, use his experience, and you know, try and land some telling shots and put a dent in Mike. But you know what, I was impressed with Wayne's ability to stay in there because you know when you've got someone in there who's quite slick and, yeah. and you're missing and, you, and you're hitting fresh air and they're countering you and stuff like that, it's quite frustrating, but he didn't get frustrated. He kept to his task, he just, he just closed his defence up a little bit. What's difficult for Wayne at the minute is Mike's jab. Mike's got a really good jab. You don't know when it's coming. He, he feints it, he's up and down, so he, he jabbed to the head, he jabbed to the body, and he's very hard to read. And, Obviously, Wayne's got to be very careful that coming forward, but he's got to find a way of getting past that jab and, and making a fight of it. He's making a fight of it. He's making a fight of it because he's, he's doing what he needs to do and just, just make it a bit of a, a close quarters affair, really. That's what he needs to do, isn't it? When you've got a good boxer in front of you, that's yeah. the range he doesn't want to be at. The range is at there. That is the range he doesn't want to be at. 
Yeah, well, when I say make a fight, make, make a dog fight of it. Get up nice and close and try and spoil some of oh, good Mike's uppercut. work because at the minute he's, he's on the end of some decent shots here. See, that's why if you give someone like Mike time to think, they're going to be effective because yeah. they can think about what combination, which feint they're going to throw. You've got to get on top of them. Think about when Mayweather fought Maidana. He just sort of like got his, he ruined his rhythm. Didn't yeah. let him think. Mike's quite relaxed in there now. He's, he's obviously enjoying himself, dropping his hands a little bit. And, and he's a very, very accomplished fighter. You can see that he's got that experience. Very impressive the way he makes Wayne miss. And it makes him pay for it. Coming yeah. with some nice counter shots, straight right hands, right uppercuts. That's better. You know, I've got a lot of res respect for Wayne. A lot of respect for him. He's, he's, he's the older man. He's in there with someone who's technically better than him, but he's really doing well. He's, he's, really, he's really trying not to give ground, and I, and, and I respect him for that. Yeah, Wayne's a, a quality operator himself, and he, he, he's up against the formidable force here in, in Mike. But, but Wayne would give anyone trouble in the ring. Oh, definitely. He, he's tough firstly. Oh, that's a good right hand. Good conditioning, because he took that well there, and a good, good left hook under the ribcage. You know what? What's he made of, this, this Wayne? Tough, tough man. Big made shots, of granite. Didn't Absolute even put a granite. dent in him. Well, he's, he's taken so many body shots tonight that would have put a lot of men down, and he's, he's stood up to them. And the head shots as well, some clean, clean head shots, but it just keeps coming. Wayne must, um, sorry, um, Mike must be thinking, how did he not go down off a couple of them shots, especially the body shot? He's got to be a bit disheartening, hasn't he? You come down here, your passport says you're older than me, and you're taking a mick like that. This guy having a laugh. Dodgy passport, mate. <laughs> right, here we go into the third round. And you know what? I'd like to see this over six rounds or something like that. You know what I mean? Or even if it's four, because very, very interesting. I feel like someone like Wayne would come good over the long rounds. You know, I was literally actually thinking the same in the break. I was thinking... Don't really see a way uh, that Wayne gets into this fight with it being a three-round fight. He's yeah, he's, he's not got enough time. I mean, Mike, as good as he is, was was blowing a little bit between rounds. Uh, I think for Wayne to come into his, into his own, it would need to be a longer fight. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's testament to what we're saying because we're saying basically he's a, he's a tough, tough man who can grind you down. Very <laughs> tough man. I mean, look, you've hit him with the absolute kitchen sink, body shots, head shots, and he just keeps marching forward. And, and if you're not on your game, look, he's, he, he, he just overwhelms you with shots. He reminds me of that guy from Nightmare on Elm Street. Do you know what I mean? Jason. I think yeah. it's Jason, he just didn't stop coming. <laughs> That's what he reminds you of. Yeah, he's, he's having success. And you know what? He's having his best round. He's, he's, he's winning this round. Yeah, he is. He's winning this round. and. Like I say, Mike put a lot into those first two rounds, and he was blowing a little bit between between the rounds. But it's whether or not Mike can get his second win now really starts to unload. Mike still got the skill and everything, but his his, his work rate's dropped off because the the pace is getting to him. But you know, I'm t but Wayne Wayne's just getting into it. He, he feels like he's just warming up. Feels like he could go at this pace for 15 rounds. Yeah, I get a feeling Wayne could do this all night long. He would just keep coming and keep coming until he breaks your heart. But unfortunately for him, he's got two two rounds banked against him. In, well, in our opinion, anyway, hasn't he? So. Yeah, and and that's what I mean. Free free round fight here. I don't see how Wayne's going to get back into it. Um, but if it's over six, it would be very very interesting. Oh yeah, if it's over, even if it was over four. Good one to watch this. Yeah, good one to watch. It's it, it's interesting. It's an interesting fight. I mean, 
maybe, maybe there is a, um, a rematch on the cards, maybe over four rounds. I like these sort of fights, Aki, when the guys are up close, nice I cute love it, because it reminds me of the Mexican fights. Yeah. You know, the close quarter stuff. But you know what, it, it's good because they've actually got technique, so it's not just like scrappy, and the ref's not had to get involved, and that's what you, that's what you like, a nice, good box fight. Yeah, because when they're fighting close corners like this, it takes a lot of skill. You, you have to shorten your shots, you have to start pushing them instead of winging them in. A lot, lot of skill. Yeah, good. And you see there, look, Mike's the one who wants to hold, and Wayne's the one who wants to get the action going. Yeah, so absolutely. this is very, very telling. Mike's feeling it. I think, I think Mike thought that he was going to get him out of there in the first two rounds, but Wayne's a tough, tough man. That's a good left hook from Mike, but he's 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 not winning this round. So that's a good good round then in the back. Definitely going to give that one to Wayne. But obviously it's three rounds. And look, you can see there. Look, Wayne 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 could go for a walk. Mike's tired there. You can see. Look. Yeah, they put the stool in for Mike to have a little sit down. Very, very tired he is. But do you know what those first two rounds for Mike was absolutely quality. Absolutely he, quality yeah. boxing. Yeah, the first round especially, absolutely beautiful boxing from Mike. Beautiful he, boxing. His jab was brilliant. It was like a corkscrew jab, I loved it, it was great. You could tell you could tell back in his RAF days he was a he was a really good boxer. But Wayne can be very, very proud of himself. Well, listen, we've um, not got the decision yet. We don't know what... what yeah, um, I mean, I don't see a, a way of Wayne winning it, but I think he can be very proud of himself. I think he can come back from that and definitely try and push for that rematch, but see if he can get it over four rounds. All right, let's see. Right, well, we'll start off with Mike. Firstly, mate, first couple of rounds, he was boxing beautifully, especially in the first round. You could tell that uh, experience you've got in boxing came through. Just tell everyone about your experience in boxing from the military. Uh, yeah, started when I was eight. I picked it up in the military. And yeah, fucking family. You know what, though? Wayne's a tough, tough cookie, isn't he? Kept coming. Yeah, he's game, yeah. Game, very game. Um, it's a bit some big shots, body shots. But yeah, I just ran out of gas after the first round. I was fucked. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. Well, you were fainting nice and then going to the body, and a couple of them body shots really sunk in, so were you surprised he managed to take them? Yeah, he was there, he was, he was tough. I had, I had him, but I just didn't have the fucking energy to push on. Uh, I took the fight on two days, so I've not been training, so I just fucking got in and I had fun, like he was good crack, I enjoyed it. Well, let, well, let's bring Wayne in. Wayne, that was a really good fight there, scored a draw in the end. He came out really good in the first round and then you sort of got back into it, didn't you? Yeah, you could tell he's definitely got that amateur experience. His clean boxing is something else. That jab's awesome. Um, so I knew I had to push him. Really went through it for third. I thought the volume might... I thought I would have nicked it. But, yeah, he, he showed that he's definitely experienced. And I'm starting to get more experience in this game, but you can definitely see that amateur pedigree coming through, especially in the first round. Yeah, I thought you both did. Brilliant. He thinks he might have nicked it. What do you say to that? I think he's deluded. <laughs> no, it was close, honestly, it was close, only messing. Well, you know what that means, don't you? We've got to see it again, is that right? Oh, yeah, why not? I'm up for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 fucking do it. Fantastic, right, let's get a handshake, boys. Well done, really good fight. Well done, well done. Well done.